This is Ron Shira with another Art Geek production. We are at the Friedman Gallery for Albright College Center of the Arts in Reading, Pennsylvania. And we're here to visit the Henry Sachs exhibit of aluminum sculptor, sculptures and um, some wooden drawings that he did with uh, sticks made from beaver dams and such. Henry is a naturalist and lives up in Tamworth, Canada. However, he's visiting us this time around to give us an idea of what he does. Uh, Christopher Young curated this exhibit. And uh, unfortunately, he's retiring this month you know, due to some health reasons and simply because he's just been working long enough. So we got a few of these uh, aluminum constructions here. Now, let's take a look at them. These are all meant to be uh, picked up and thrown around, to be honest. They're pretty sturdy. You can roll them around if you want. <laughs> you know, see what I flip the do the artist, just kick it. Pretty cool. So here we have um, some teapots welded into aluminum, some ladles, soup ladles, a uh, coffee pot, some uh, measuring spoons, some colanders, frying pans, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Anyway, and here we have a corner piece where he cuts directly into it with a torch and other scribing tools and creates these interesting uh, highly buffed aluminum autonomies here. This one is called Stele. S-T-E-L-E. -E. So, going to the other room with the, uh, with the wooden pieces. Okay, these are technically what he considers drawings. This is called the Lodge, number three. It consists of four pieces. You know, burnt, scratched, scraped. Uh, and the, the, the little sticks inside of them. Branches that have been gnawed and chewed up by beavers. Likes everything to come from natural or sort of the natural sources. This one actually has a set of antlers on it. And this one is called the Lodge. Okay. And the Lodge number two. We kind of caught them backwards here. But anyway. looks like the paper that he has used is very heavy, very thick, burns pieces into it with his torches and gouges them with his other tools. These are nice. I like these. I'm going to the main room. Here's another piece. This is called ladder. Well, looks like a ladder. I think it's about 12 feet tall. Let's see if I can get a good long image of it. more of his uh, little balls here. This one's pretty cool. Get it to spin around.
Let's make, it more, let's make a little more noise, okay? Pretty cool stuff. Kind of like all intertwined and cut into each other. Pretty neat. These are made with cables. And cables look like they're inserted right into the, uh, the linear designs that he uses. Attaches them right in. I have the gallery all to myself today. They opened it up for me. I like this place, they're real nice to me. Another one of these obelisks. And another. Some of them are stained a little bit. Like a bluish tint of some sort. Maybe it's burned in like that. But Here, these are called field and stream. This piece is called the river. pieces are incredibly worked, cut into, scribed, scratched, polished, pretty cool I gotta say, very enjoyable. More from the series, Field and Streams. Okay. Aquarelle, Jardine, Counterweight, Modern Times, Middle Ages, Simon Blaze, Blue Piece, Chu. Okay, that's what their titles are. All right.